through to our secret garden. So we've got a very, very pretty garden. We're nicely positioned in the village here because we are uh, relatively close to the centre. So you can walk down to the centre and yet you're not stuck in the centre. So you're, you're a little bit detached, uh, which means you're in a, a nice peaceful location. Very pretty garden, lovely swimming pool, which we'll get to in a second. Fabulous terrace. We've got this lovely big covered terrace area here and then the garden is sort of in two parts I suppose well it's sort of three parts really because you've got the this first part here where you've got a rather charming sitting area area then we lead through to a paved area where you've got the uh, table tennis table and a door, another door going out to the street. And then from here, we go through to the, the third area where you've got the swimming pool. A very private pool area. And as you can see, your pool area is not overlooked. The houses beyond the, the hedge are lower, which is rather nice. So as we make our way back, we're going to go straight in through the what would have been the original primary front door of the house straight ahead of us into the ground floor of the property so the way this is laid out at the moment is you've got a kitchen, sitting room, dining room here on the ground floor. Sometimes people use this configuration uh, for sort of summer living down here, winter living upstairs, but this will work really, really well if you've got friends and family coming to stay, then they can have their own space down here. We've got two bedrooms down here and three bedrooms up on the first floor. First bedroom we come to is quite a large double. Windows looking out onto the garden. And we've got the rather funky decorating. And down here, you've got a downstairs toilet. And then you've got a door to a shower room that also uh, connects to this bedroom. So you've got a double bedroom here. A 
and then a door linking this back to the shower room, which is just around there. Now while we're on the ground floor, let's go straight through the door ahead of us and show you. You've got two garages and two off-street parking spaces. So you've got your first space here, which is where you've got your, uh, your boiler. And then through here, you've got another garage and on the other side of that garage door, you've got a sort of a carport, covered parking. And on the other side of these garage doors, you've got open parking. So that's two or three parking spaces. And that doorway there connects back to the bedroom, the big bedroom we saw at the beginning. So on this ground floor, you've got a front door, a double bedroom on the left, kitchen, living room, dining room, another double bedroom, a shower and a toilet. And then we have a connecting staircase going up to the first floor and a doorway at the top of the stairs. So if you wanted to separate the space, all you've got to do is close this door ahead of us here and then you've effectively got two apartments. So you've got another front door there, which leads uh, from a terrace, which we'll have a look at in a second. So now on this floor, the way the current owners use this house, this is the primary kitchen, breakfast room, living room. A lovely bright house. Good space up here. Really good size kitchen, breakfast room, kitchen, dining room. Another really good space, which is the sitting room. You've got a very, very cute Godin wood burner here. And then I'm going to show you the rest of the uh, of this floor before going out onto that terrace. So we're going to come back this way. So second front door. And then we've got three double bedrooms on this floor. Got a toilet. We've got a bathroom. Let's go to the right, a good sized double bedroom, another double bedroom, and this one's got double doors out to the front terrace. It's lunchtime, it's 12 o'clock, that's why the church bells are ringing. It's also a bank holiday today, that's why the church bells are ringing rather than just striking the hour. So what we could do is we can go from here and go out onto the terrace. A nice view of the garden below. Great terrace running the whole width of the house. So, bedroom on the left. And then the two sets of doors here go back into that main living space, which I'll show you. And here we've sort of completed a circle, as it were. So there's the kitchen, 
there's the little good down wood burner and here's your sitting room and then one last thing to show you is we've then got the external staircase which takes us back down down there which is where we started the tour So all in all, a really great house, a lot of space, really nice location. You've got some great open views in the distance there. Your neighboring houses are all lower than you, which is good. So they're not looking back at you. Uh, we're in a really good village. We're a stone's throw from the center of the village. You've got plenty of commerce in the village, including a, a very big, very smart, very modern uh, super U supermarket, you've got a petrol station, you've got all sorts of things going on, you've got several restaurants, so you've got everything you need in this one village and yet you are only about a, an eight, nine, ten minute drive from the historic town of Pezness. So as always there'll be a link in the description below which will take you to the full advert page for this property on our website where there'll be um, uh, room sizes, description and even a floor plan. Uh, please do like and subscribe to the video to make sure you don't miss out on uh, future videos and feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below uh, and ask any questions if you would like to. So that is the end of the tour, this lovely uh, family house in Rougeon. Thank you very much for watching.